Good day everyone! I am Drew B. Potot and we will discuss the different development of physical education and sports in different countries. Primitive society. In primitive society, people move in order to survive not for any other reason. They need to hunt for food and protect themselves from wild animals and their environment in order to survive. A primitive people have two options for providing their daily needs. They can live near a sea or a river where fish and sea animals commonly occur or they live in the jungle where animals meet and fruits abound. Primitive people build shelters for their protection for changing and hostile environment that may, that may be caused from hurt. An ancient China as we all know, China is one of the world's oldest civilization. It was said that the physical education activities held back to the beginning of their development. China has made a major contribution in the field of physical education through China embraced a sedentary lifestyle. It is not a question that the country with its unique culture and intellectual ability has contributed so much to the development of education, but the activities are more preferred to those that are rich or belong to the high-class families and the society. And here are some examples of China involvement in physical education. One of them is a rich family engaged music. Also, the popular dances like split feather dance, whole feather dance, battle dance, and the humanity dance. Some of these sports are wrestling, jojutsu, polo, tug of war, kite flying, and water game. Kung Fu is regarded as one of the oldest form of exercise history as well as the one of the most thrilling sports particularly in the Philippines. And medical gymnastic was found in 2698 BC by a group of people who discovered that gymnastic could help them become more active and reduce their sedentary lifestyle because they realized that the reason they were sick because they were inactive due to the residential lifestyle. India In India, people concerned for their physical well-being was influenced by the religious lives just it was an ancient China. Reincarnation is a religious belief in which people believe that when a person dies, their spirit reincarnates into a new body form of life. The most focus solely on the spiritual aspect of life rather than the physical body in order to achieve this goal. Here are some examples of Indian's involvement in physical education. The number one is Hindu dancing, throwing balls, dice, tumbling, chariot races, marbles, riding elephants, flowing contest, horse riding, swordmanship, and boxing are some of the favorite pastimes. Some of the traditional sports are the following, the koko, kabadi, malakam, badminton, wrestling, pelwani, and many more. Yoga is a most significant contribution of physical education in India. This activity considered as religious activity and it is now a wide accepted as a physical activity for mind and body discipline. Asian Near East Country Egypt has been a great country and full of physical education. They believe in living a full life, which means a life full of physical activity, physical fitness, and sports. For them, these are considered an important part of their life. They help maintain their health and vigor. Recreation of Egypt Egyptian in the social class spent much time outdoors from the time they were young boys and girls, both naked from the time they were born until the age of poverty. 
There are artworks and description and letters that will approve this activity. The dog was the most popular toy in ancient Egypt, reflecting the value of their people and featuring in the board game known as Hunt and Jackals, which is very popular during Egypt's Middle Kingdom. It is also considered the oldest board game and was also known as the Game of Snake. It was popular in the early gymnastic period and Egypt since the C 3150 and to C 2613 BCE. And it was played in the single blackboard and described with an image of a snake. Some of the most popular sports played during ancient times were fishing, rowing, javelin throwing, boxing, wrestling, weightlifting, and gymnastics. Field hockey was the most popular game sport played together with a tag of war. Although archery was a popular, it was always associated with ability and royalty. Physical fitness was considered so important for apparel that it was part of the Hepsid festival. Ancient Egyptian was considered as dance-loving people, which can be observed in the morals, thumb paintings, and temple engravings. According to the International and Encyclopedia of Dance Permanence, dance was a part of Egyptian ethos and featured permanently in religious rattle and social occasion as well as Egyptian foreigners' practice regarding the their afterlife. Dance rhythm is produced by the clapping of hands, finger snapping, tambourines, and body clapping. Persia Persia's main goal was to build empires through military aggression, and it was King Cyrus the Great who conquered the area now known as the Middle East in early 529 BC. Their belief that a strong army was a healthy and physically fit army was their driving force in achieving their goal. As early as six years old, the child is extreme in different events such as running, slinging, shooting the ball, throwing a javelin, hunting, and marching. In another training, which is done for the soldier that travel without food and clothes, Asian Persians' dances are characterized by what fascinating and incidental event is known to be in a run today. People can be mythologically shown other people love and affection through the art event. The Cult of Metra According to the Kian 2014, the origin and rise of Persian dance as an independent and distinctive art form is estimated to be parallel with the birth of Metarism and its spread. Physical Education in Rome a great and well-disciplined army with great leaders brought about grandeur of the Roman Empire at a time when almost all of the Europe was under its influence. The objectives of physical education in Rome affected the sound objectives held by the Greeks whom they conquered. Army life was considered very important to the Romans and considered health as important only for military life. In order to be the physical shape for the army, a Roman soldier had to engage in various physical activities following a rigid schedule of training. Activities such as marching, jumping, running, throwing the discus and juggling, swimming, among others, were included in the body conditioning program. He had to be ready at the moment's notice to serve the state from 17 to 60 years of age. Morally and spiritually, the Roman Empire declined at the last scramble before the strong Theotonic barbarians. Historians note that the most outstanding cause of the fall of the great Roman Empire was due to the moral decay and deterioration. Physical education during the Renaissance the Renaissance period which came after the Dark Ages listed at the beginning of modern times. This was called the Renewal Spirit of Nationalism. The Renaissance period helped to interpret the work of physical education to the public in general. The belief became prevalent that physical education is necessary for health as a preparation for warfare. 
as means as developing the body. Physical education in Greece had its golden age in ancient Greece. The two cities states which gave physical activities much important were Sparta and Athens. However, these states were exact opposites in their objectives of physical education. In Sparta, the main obje objective of physical education was to contribute a strong and powerful army. The individual existed for the state so that he did not enjoy individual freedom. Only the strong and vigorous babies were allowed to live in this military state. Any newborn infant, when found weak and defective, was left to die on Mount Tagetus. While in Athens, the individual's life was not controlled and regulated as in Sparta, and they enjoyed individual's freedom. The objective of physical education in Greece was for physical perfection with emphasis of beauty of physic. Gymnastics was believed to contribute to physical development and music was also considered important for the intellect. Gymnastics and music were considered as the two most important subjects in the curriculum. It was also always claimed that gymnastics was for the body and music for the soul. Physical education during dark ages. G during the dark period, two major movements grew up, which is growth all over Europe, asceticism and scholasticism. These movements affected tremendously physical education. Christianity grew and thrived in this period, with the ascetic belief that one can attain high spiritual level through solitude, mortification of the flesh and devotional contemplation. These people did not believe in worldly pressures but this life should be a means of preparing for the world. The body should be tortured and not improve the body's evil. A Christian emperor, Chudusius, abolished the Olympic Games in AD 394 because these were believed as being pagan. The customs and practices of the resulted in poor health and shattered nervous system of many people. Scholasticism had developed that the most essential items in one's education are facts that the key to a successful life is the development of the mental or intellectual powers. This belief which was held by the scholars at the time passed down from generation to generation so that scholasticism as a movement presented a challenge to physical education. An effect of this dim the emphasis on physical activity was that the institutions associated with early Christianity would not allow physical education to be the one important in their curriculum. Physical education in Great Britain Great Britain is known as the home of outdoor sports which utilize a program of organized games and sports. The English youth engaged in physical activities as early as the time of Henry II, such as wrestling, throwing, riding, fishing, hunting, swimming, rowing, skating, shooting the bow and arrow. Physical education during the age of feudalism. The periods of feudalism came into being after the death of powerful ruler. Charlie Magny, in 1814, there was a disintegration of the whole empire and there was descent. Feudalism was a system of land turned based upon the allegiance and service to the nobleman or lord. The lord who owned the land was called Fee who out the land to subordinate who was called Basan. During the feudalistic times, the sons of the lord or nobleman had two choices to train for the church and become a member of the clergy or to enter chivalry and become a knight. At the age seven, a boy worked as a page to some nobleman. At the age of 14, the, bad, the body became a squirrel and he was to be attached 
to a night. During this stage, there was more emphasis made or more vigorous and rigorous physical training such as swordmanship. Knighthood was conferred on him at age 21 after proving his fitness to become a knight. Physical education played a major part in the training for knighthood. This, however, was the for self preservation only. Physical education in modern Europe. The history of physical education in modern European countries is reflected in the contributions of these countries to the growth and advancement of physical education, which is also associated with means of its contributions. Physical education in Germany Johann Bernhard Bach to 1723-1790 established the school called Palatoprenum, the first school in the modern Europe that offered a program where physical education was a part for the curriculum. Johann Christoph Friedrich Goldsmith, 1759-1839, wrote two books, Gymnastic for the Jump, and games which contain illustrations of various exercises and apparatus agreements in favor of physical education institutions, often referred to as one of the founders of modern physical education in Germany. Friedrich Lowey John, 1778-1852, his name is associated with the term Association of Gymnastics, which has integrated to help German youth and strong and hardy citizens. Installed in the youth a love for gymnastics before because of his belief that physical education is means of aiding the growth and development of children that a country could be made strong through physical education. Out of space, 1810-1858, founder of school gymnastics in Germany, helped to make physical education a part of his school life is true about physical education. Physical education shall be required of a student. He shall receive the same consider as other subject in the curriculum. The physical education program shall be progressive, starting with simple exercises and proceeding to the more difficult. Physical education in Sweden. Ferrer Henrik Lang, 1776-1839, his name as symbolic of the rise of physical education in Sweden. Strove to make physical education a science trace that through anatomy and physiology, one will be better able to understand the human body and its needs and apply activity intelligently through the scientific approach. Established the Royal Central Institute of gymnastics to prepare teachers in three categories of gymnastics, educational, military, or medical. His objective of physical education was to develop the body to its fullest extent to restore health to the weak and to make the country strong to protect agents and racers. Lars Gobler Banting, 1799-1881, spent his time in medical gymnastics. His teaching were based on the premise that physical activity causes change in the muscular, nervous, and circulatory system. Gustav Neblus, 1816-1902, specialized in military gymnastics. His innovation was the inclusion of human in this, in this school. Halmer Friedrich Link, 1820-1886 Organized educational gymnastics in Sweden, responsible for making physical education as school subject. Physical education in Denmark. In Denmark, there are two contributors, Franz Nachtigall and Nels Bo. Franz Nachtigall introduced the physical education into the schools of Denmark and Franz Nachtigall, the first director of a training school for teacher 
of gymnastics and the army and the director of gymnastics for all the Denmark. And Nell's book introduced the primitive gymnastic, attempted to build the perfect piece through a series of exercises that were performed without cessation of movement. Physical education in America. The colonial period in America was not conducted to organize physical education program. The religious beliefs of the 14th did not favor flee, so the live a life of austerity and stern discipline. There was little emphasis given to any form of physical activity because it was thought of as a waste of time. There were some people, however, who wrote the world sports from their mother countries, like the Dutch, whose favorite sports was bowling. Contribution in development of physical education in the early century in America were the following. Thomas Denison Wood introduced natural, natural gymnastics which give more emphasis on game and game skills. Clark Hethering too, emphasize of children free activities. J.C. Bancroft, uh, influence in the implementary schools, responsible of homeroom teachers in the elementary schools. Jacob Rills, symbolic of the playground movements in New York. At the mid 20th century, athletic sport and team gyms have become important. Broad and extend, extensive programs have been ex established, schools, recreational organizations, and other agencies in teachers, education, and physical education. Higher standards were established, and better trained leaders were brought up. Physical education in the Philippines. Philippines education Physical education in the Philippines dated back to primitive society when physical activity was very important for the survival, making it necessary for the adult to teach physical skills to the young with the fast changing times and quite interesting to the hatrides make my physical education and what it have affects the life of the people. Physical education and present. And to this world, physical education is essential. Man can live a healthy life only by doing physical work and exercise. Physical fitness is not only about a fit body, but it is about both bodily and emotional fitness. Being healthy must be a part of our daily lifestyle. Living a healthy lifestyle can prevent us from disease and long-term illness. We know that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body, but into this world, video games, mobile games, and computer games have a taken place of our traditional games. No one has the time to play any indoor or outdoor games in this modern age of technology. Today, everything is done by machines. The fitness has become so much dependent on technology. The human does not have enough time to take care of his or her body, which is a very valuable gift of nature to humans. Humans have stopped physical exercises because of technological tools and other facilities. Previously, humans were used to remaining healthy by playing various outdoor games and thereby doing physical exercise. Now, the games are played on the computer so life has become idle. The human body has become the storehouse of various diseases. Physical fitness makes the immune system of our body stronger and beautiful.